Welcome to El Amanecer, a program that explores the interests and concerns of the Latino community here in the Bay Area. Now here is your host for tonight's show, Juana Samayoa. Good evening, welcome to El Amanecer. You know, tonight is going to be a very special evening for me because I'm going to be talking with some people who are very close and very dear to me, namely my mother, uh, Jan Bradley, and later in the show you will be meeting my grandmother and also my great-grandmother. And Mom, I'd like to uh, start out by mentioning the fact that, you know, Alex Haley really did something with his book Roots, I, I feel anyway. He um, really tapped what I consider a universal unconsciousness. He, he got us in touch with who we are in, in terms of our family and our tradition and our culture. And um, in, in this first part of the show, I would like to spend the time uh, talking about some of the things that I really remember as a little girl growing up, some of the things that uh, were difficult for me first coming to this country. And one of the things I remember when coming here was that um, it was very difficult for me uh, the first day of school. It was really a, a frightening experience because I didn't speak English, as, as you know. And um, I remember that it, I wasn't able to understand the teacher, and I, I couldn't take instructions. Um, and I really wanted to be like one of the, you know, the other kids. And it just it wasn't possible. And I consider myself pretty lucky because, you know, for my age group, uh, many of, of the kids uh, that are now my age back then uh, were labeled mentally retarded and, and put into classes for the mentally retarded. So I really consider myself lucky. Um, I'm sure you have, you, you remember some of those years and some of the difficulties also. And um, one of the other things that I, I also remember growing up was that um, I was very much like all the, uh, I really wanted to be very much like the other kids, so to speak. And, and, and in high school, uh, I remember straightening my hair because uh, I, I, I didn't want it curly. I wouldn't go out in the sun too long because I didn't want to get too dark. You know, all these things that you do to, to, to become part of the system. And um, it wasn't until just recently, uh, back about four or five years ago, when I was working at the uh, Mexican-American uh, Legal Defense and Education Fund that I, I really realized what the word Raza meant. I didn't even know what that word meant, and I didn't know what Chicano or what being a Latina meant. And uh, so it was, it was really uh, an awakening for me, a, a, a cultural awakening for me, going, going back. And uh, that's what the show is going to be all about tonight. And I, I know that you have some recollections, and we're going to take a look at a lot of pictures. And um, I'd like to know from you some of the things that, that you felt as you came to this country, because you came here like when you were 14 years old. That's right, that's right. But uh, in order to, um, for you to have a better idea of what it felt like for me, because you see my experience is totally different than yours, uh, I would like to say that um, um, I lost my parents when I was eight. Then I went to live with an uncle and he was a very rich man. In fact, he was a millionaire. So uh, you see, uh, my upbringing was um, so much different than we might say the normal child, you know. And uh, this man, uh, I think, needs mentioning because here's a man who uh, was my father's uh, only brother. My father was an attorney. My uncle was an attorney. and. Um, so we went to live with him, and this man supported 16 people for years. And uh, it was 11 family and five servants. Now you see, we had a cook, we had a laundress, we had uh, an indoor maid, we had a chauffeur in full uniform with a Mercedes Benz at the door, and we had an errand boy. Mm -hmm. So you see, uh, my, uh, my whole uh, environment was so different Mm -hmm. All these years, by the time you're 14, you're a well, 
Right. Well, you're in your way of being uh, a young woman. Mom, you know, I want to I want to really get into that, and mm -hmm. we need to take a break right now. So when we come back from the break, we'll take a look at some old pictures and talk about what it was like for you to come to this country at age 14. Mm -hmm. Be back with us in just a moment. Mm -hmm.